facing some big global challenges around food. We're battling against climate change. Food consumption and production accounts for nearly a quarter of our total greenhouse gas emissions. Ever-growing human population. We have overproduction in certain parts of the world. One billion people go hungry, while 30% of the food that we produce gets wasted. Also dwindling natural resources, so we're actually facing a food security crisis. There are now more and more people realizing that the way we behave, the way we consume, the way we produce is not sustainable. We have to change. This course is especially timely to help us future-proof our food supply chains. We're going to use systems thinking as an approach, go into this big challenge, understand what the different elements of the food system are and what are the relationships between them in order to understand where those leverage points are. It actually builds on existing strengths that the university has across campus. It's very interdisciplinary. We have expertise from across the university, all involved in developing and delivering this program. School of Biology, the School of Earth and Environment. In addition to business school, there are people from food science. Institute of Transport Studies. Geography. And there are people from behaviour studies. I think looking at a single problem but with many different perspectives really helps to come up with novel solutions. The students themselves will be working on real world problems. The module I'm teaching is all about supply chain. Usually they are bias towards making economic decisions. We are teaching the students how they can change this perspective to consider the economic as well as the environment and the society impact. We'll actually cover some aspects of plant science that are critical for engineering future crops. My contribution to the program is teaching students to understand what happens to the food, how it's transformed into edible products, and all these things will be important for consumer decisions. It's about experiential learning, so we're trying to take the learning outside the classroom. We're going to be engaging with the industry, the different stakeholders that are involved. We're really going to expose the students to the points of tension and the trade-offs we need to consider in a developing country context. And we're also going to be doing more local-based field trips to food production systems, including the University of Leeds farm. Really we're bringing in cutting-edge research into the programme. There will be great opportunities for our graduates to go and work in the food industry internationally. Being able to enter professions right from a lab scientist all the way through to potentially helping put together policy and laws. Students will be able to work across different scales from the micro all the way to the macro and these are the sort of skills that industry is telling us that they need more of. I think it's really exciting that we're going to be attracting such a wide range of students with diverse interests. They are going to bring their own perspectives and they are going to learn from each other and engage with other ways of looking at these challenges to become, you know, that change agent that will lead that transformation. It's going to be a really stimulating and an exciting course for students to actually take.